Dish at Oz. And as you know, my daughter Daphne recently had a bun in the oven. We last saw her. But uh, right now, I've got a little delicious granddaughter, Gigi. So Daphne is taking care of the baby. She's joining us via Zoom. Honey, tell everyone how the baby and you were doing. Hi, Dad. Hi, guys. Everyone's doing well. Everyone's doing really well. Gigi just turned a month old, which is a big milestone. I feel like we've made it through the first month. Um, and just enjoying her and enjoying becoming a family of six. And most of all, enjoying, I have to tell you, it's my first baby I've had in the summer, enjoying a summer and early fall weather. We're all outside all the time. Some of the other kids out, we're outside. So that has been pretty incredible since most of my other babies have had me trapped inside. <laughs> You know, mommy and I had four kids, obviously. The youngest one was very different from the first three because he was a boy. How's number four been different for you? You know, I have to tell you, there have been a couple of things that have really surprised me about becoming a parent at all. And one of my favorite things is watching you and mommy become grandparents and how wonderful that relationship is. But this time around with the baby, the new baby, adding a fourth, has been watching my older kids welcome her, welcome their new sibling. Philomena in particular, it's so hilarious. This is basically my first day wearing makeup and real clothes. I've been around in pajamas pretty much the entire time. And Philomena goes to sleep in her robe, nursing her baby, which is adorable. Yeah. <laughs> She's very involved. She's really excited about it. So, so the big question everyone wants to know here is, have you been cooking with your hands full? What is the family eating? <laughs> I have to tell you, I, I'm really lucky and, and grateful that we planned ahead. We have a bunch of frozen soups and casseroles and things in the freezer um, because you know you can heat them up and eat them one-handed with a mug, uh, smoothies, the same thing. But other than that, I have not really had time to cook too much. So if you are someone who knows a new mom or has you know a friend who's expecting, please send food. My, my grandmother sent me my favorite baked goods and some fudge, which was dangerous and delicious. Um, but trust me, new moms need delicious food more than another cute outfit. We are so grateful. So send delicious food our way. Well, we can't wait to have you back in the kitchen. While Daphne's on maternity leave, we have some of her food friends, some superstars with us today. Please welcome the Emmy, Tony, and Grammy-nominated star who also makes award-worthy dishes at home, Vanessa Williams. <laughs> I should say, Top Chef Judge, who spends most of her time having her food judged by her own kids, believe it or not, Gail Simmons. <laughs> Fan favorite cook who put a slim down twist on your favorite comfort foods is never afraid to stir the pot. You know what I mean? Gina Neely. <laughs> and she brings this other sweet with that Caribbean heat, our friend Jamika Pessoa. Making it out here. <laughs> there are so many cool things to talk about with you guys, but besides I can talk about you. I had you on the show a couple years ago. I fell in love with you. My whole family did. Well, thank you. And the thing I didn't get into, because I didn't realize it until the very end of that interview, is yeah. that you are a fabulous cook. Well, I have four kids, so I have to cook. I know the feeling. But, I, you know, I, uh, people assume I have staff. I don't have staff. I cook. I've always cooked. I come from a cooking family. My mom taught us how to cook. All right, so your favorite thing about being in the kitchen is? Family. That's where they all congregate. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Exactly right. okay. That's where they hang. Amen. They come for the food. Now, here's the thing. Gail, we all know you as this really sophisticated judge on ha. Top Chef. But I, yeah, but I actually, when I'm curious, what was the first dish you ever made and was it judged harshly? Interestingly, I, I have this very vivid memory of making eggs as a child. My mother would set me up at the stove with a double boiler. I guess, you know, hot boiling water with another pot over top so that I wouldn't burn myself or the eggs, cook them really gently. It's and clever. I would learn to make scrambled eggs that way. And that's how I learned for life. It was such a great lesson. Yeah. But I remember putting cinnamon and raisins in the eggs and forcing my parents to eat them. <laughs> So I feel sort of guilty about that now, and yes, I am sure I was judged. But they always had a smile for it. You're a fan favorite on the Food Network, and what I, what I always loved is that you could make comfort food just taste not just good, but good for you. Yes. But you're in a different place right now. How's, how's that change the kind of food you're making? Well, first off, I'm an empty nester. So we all with all these four kids. Yeah. I don't do all that anymore. <laughs> I do kind of really easy things. And for me, I want to get back to my love language of food. Like, there's just a language that we speak when we eat food. And just don't worry about the oh, oh. Let's just do the new, new. Just see me as just Gina. That's it. I'm just Gina, just doing my thing. 
Okay. Well, you look fabulous, Gina. Well, thank you. Christina's good enough for me. All right, Shanika, <laughs> how about what we're dishing on today? What are we making? All right, we've got your new go-to weeknight dinners that cook up in under 30 minutes. Oh, yes. We have what's for dinner tonight. It's a lightened up pasta dish you can make in minutes. And oh, yes, we're kicking it up with three shortcuts to a fast and filling chicken pot pie. Fabulous, because up next, we're cooking up that pot pie. Quick, easy, and filling. What else would you want on a weeknight? Stick around. with a dish on ours, and the dish crew is about to dish the details of a fast and filling chicken pot pie. It's what's for dinner tonight. You can all love it. And while you guys are cooking and having a good time, I am going to go in the audience and shred some chicken and hopefully eat a little bit of it for that pot pie. Who wants to help me? You all into this? All right, play amongst yourselves. All right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, so right. we've got to dish the details on this okay. chicken pot pie because I feel like when you just think about chicken pot pie, doesn't it just make you say, mmm. Well, it's such a southern cup yes, of food, it like is. a feel-good food. It is. The audience, I know y'all want to say it. Everybody. Mmm. You can get it out it. there. Yes. yes. Oh, it's intoxicating. <laughs> I know. And Vanessa, you said you have two shortcuts to your filling in your okay, pot pie? Okay, we got two shortcuts. Instead of actually roasting your own chicken, go to the store and get a roasted chicken plus... Frozen. frozen. Yeah. Frozen yes. And we are cheese. all for the shortcuts. Yes. Yes. We like your we style. Love exactly. We like your shortcuts. Nobody has time to down so much time, but you've got your roasted chicken here shredded. I know uh, Dr. Oz is shredding it himself, but um, throw it in. There you go. So quick up. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I want to get in and I want to get out. The frozen peas are one of my favorite things to have in my freezer at all times, all year long. You know, er everybody can use them in a million ways. Yes. Yeah. Such yeah, a yeah. lifesaver yeah, in the It's a great place to throw in leftovers. It and is. Now, Gail, you've got just a biscuit wonderland going on over I here. I do. Yes. <laughs> People are so scared of making biscuits. You know, a butter, a butter biscuit, a dough of any kind. It is. But this is my hack. All I have here is all-purpose flour, salt, some baking powder. But all you need, instead of the butter and the and the and the milk and, and using your hands and kneading, You're your manicure. this is no need to knead. Exactly. No need to knead. I, like I am that. just going to put in some chives for a little flavor, yeah. whisk up my dry ingredients together, and then I'm literally just going to pour in some cream, no oh, butter really? and no milk, cream, you know what? Wow. and it just comes right so together. Look at that. But what I would even do is open a can of biscuits. Uh, just there's that. Like, that's that's that. That. Oh, open a can of biscuits, mm -hmm. put it in a muffin tin, and just fold them over. I know. Do a little yeah. egg wash around it, and then put the veggies inside, and there you go. So perfect. Fresh do it. So perfect. Only and fresh I check out yeah. when you're doing the heavy cream, that takes that fat content that you would get exactly. from the Exactly. You don't, you don't need the butter, and you do, and mixed with butter. the liquid of the milk. Butter. Butter. But you, you know that butter <laughs> is just cream <laughs> shaking up exactly. a lot, right? How so it's fine. This is all you need. It comes together so easily. It's just as sticky. The texture is great. Yeah, mm. And you're not getting your hands in there, which exactly. no mess, it no saves fuss. so much cleanup, and it mm -hmm. saves so much time. I and then you just take an yeah. ice cream scoop Ooh. and just scoop it. Perfect. And drop those biscuits right in. Oh, and they're ready to go. oh yeah. look at that. Yeah. Now, I'm here for that. I love this. I'm here for that. That works. All right. Dr. Oz, are you done with that chicken? What are you doing? <laughs> Wait, is the, what, I think he's, I've been the You're eating been the chicken. Okay, We've can been, you we, bring it over here, so please? We can have the chicken. Sure. I see how this works. works. I see how this works. You want to have Oh, my goodness. I was trying my best. Here. Oh, we got lots of chicken. All right, stir that chicken nice. in. Look, look, how, look how much we did there. You did. That's a lot. Hard working good. doctor over there. Impressive. That's some good protein. Mm -hmm. All there it is. is. There it sure. is. Gina, we got to get that one out of the oven because okay. I'm smelling it and I'm like, get excited about it. So <laughs> that that went in the oven yes. at 400 just for 18 minutes. That's Cooking it. Cooking it 18, 18 minutes. Beautiful. Minutes. You know, you're give done. or take, depending on the oh, the heat of your oven, back. 400 degrees mm. and you're done. Whoa. Ooh. Can you get it. This is not an oven for sure, people. <laughs> <laughs> that was very graceful. Yes. Mm. Look at Look that. At Look that. at that. Beautiful. Oh my God, that's you amazing. Oh. God. Let me scoop it out for you. Okay. you got, and you got to get a biscuit in every bite, mm -hmm. is what you got to do. Oh. That's the goal? Mm -hmm. That's the goal. Mm. Oh, thank you. I've got a Here, fork. Let's, let's take a bite. Oh, you want Oh, you want everything? Yeah, I know. I'm very demanding. You, want, you gotta go with that. <laughs> but I love that you do the biscuit because all that nice filling sops up into that biscuit, and you get all that flavor. Mm. It's just like. So, oh Jane, my honestly, gosh. would you make this on a weeknight? Absolutely. You make this happen? I mean, Gina's gonna make it. I'm gonna come to her house. <laughs> <laughs> all right, up next, yeah. Vanessa Williams has a lightened up twist on a weeknight pasta mm. dish that her family is obsessed with. Yours will be too. Stick around.
We're back with a dish on Oz, and we're giving you your go-to weeknight dinners that cook up in less than 30 minutes. That's the promise. Vanessa Williams is about to show us how to make her family's favorite weeknight meal. But first, you've been watching from home. What I got have. you so excited that you wanted to be here in person to cook on the dish? These ladies. Oh, yeah. It's all about. <laughs> I, I do watch food so channels. I'm always writing down recipes. If I see something, I'll go to my phone and and and, and write it down. But I, I love cooking and I love the camaraderie that we have. And cooking for people makes you feel good. Oh my oh god, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. So when well, Vanessa was up here rehearsing, I rifled through her phone. Oh. And she's got so many great photos of mouth-watering food. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it to you. What are you gonna dish for us today oh. off that phone list? This is a pasta that my my youngest, who's already 19 now, uh, she's been making in the in the, the the kitchen, and I have it on a little post-it so she knows how to do it by herself. Okay. So you get ground turkey, uh, and you put it in butter, and then you have garlic. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna sit okay. over here. But my, with the, I got audience members. We're gonna taste your dish, so it better be special. It better be good. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. I got my wine. I love how you disappear so <laughs> magic. <laughs> you got the wine. You're so typical. I got the wine. Disappearing. I'll be back. Everything starts with uh, it's garlic and onions. Yes. Today. I'm yeah. Too much estrogen. Yes. He can't handle that. Yeah, so I let's got have our own dish here. All right. Okay, yeah. Garlic and so onions, garlic and butter, turkey. and butter. Ooh, butter. Nice. You can also put a little bit of uh, olive oil if you All want right. to. But that in flavor. That. Yep. So what can we do to help Vanessa? What, uh, what, 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 what you, you can do here? is chop up some green olives for me. Okay. And some fresh basil. So you've got that. So when you um, have all this seasoned, all you can right. turn it down, and then you can add some. Sour cream. All right. Now, need a spoon for that? Yes, thank you. you. That's yeah. when to keep them nice and moist and yeah, bind it together. Normally, Keeps it moist. I love yeah. that. Normally, you see like a tomato sauce and pasta. I like how you've kind of got the sour cream thing going on. So and, and the paprika creamy, gives it a little bit of kick. Yeah, it's creamy, yeah. but not overpowering. Exactly. Like, you still feel good with it. So, and right. also, the noodle that I use is bucaccini. Bucaccini Ooh, is bucaccini. a little thicker mm. than spaghetti. Yes. It's got a little more bite to it. It's a little, little more, more denser. A little more dense. I love a good bucaccini. Hands down, my favorite pasta. Can I tell you something about bucaccini? Yeah. You heard it here first, people. You know the straw conundrum in the world where yes. plastic straws are yes. not yes. good for the environment, they're not good for the sea, they're not good for all mm. of us and waste, but no one can figure out the right straw. Like the paper ones get mushy. Oh, I hate yep. yes. I hate the paper. Bucatini, people. Bucatini as a straw? The center, they wow. don't get mushy in cold beverages. You're kidding. Yeah. Raw bucatini. You buy, you know, a hundred pieces in a box for oh, wow. two dollars. Wow. You have straws and you have weeknight dinner because, at Oh yes, my god. Love because it. Love because it. Yes. Love it. Love it. All right. Here's the olives. Olives That's going in. Olives. olives going in. This pasta right here has got some serious yes. attitude. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it right on top. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. slow pour, oh, that slow, pour. slow, slow pour. Oh my God. And it's moist, good. and it's turkey, and it's, it's good for turkey, you. and it's salty. Yes, and salty. Yes. 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 yes, yum, yes. yum, yum. All right, and basil ladies. is not so dominant that you can't enjoy it. We gotta go for this. Yeah, yeah, I'd say, I say just it. dig right in there. You, you want to say again? I don't know. Family style, you want, girls. Come on. We're trying to share all the calories together. Come on. Okay. But this is a slurpy moment. You do realize that. I can't be cute with this. And I might, I might have said it. Oh, oh, pasta is not kind of one of those cute dishes. <laughs> not a first date, but we're not on our first date. No, so I can't. I'm not opening my mouth this wide on TV. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me, oh. let me, let me, let me slow this down. Here it is. Delicious. This is so. Mm. Mm. Okay. That paprika is mm. salty. The paprika. Yes. Oh my goodness! Mm. I love how it just gives easy, it a little easy. kick. The and brininess of the olive. Mm. 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 So good. That's it's a little like, dick. I made it. I made it. This is going to be a cute dish. So we are all loving People, if you're looking at this, do not have this on your first date. You'll be gone. Go. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.